Rivers are a source of renewal for fish and for electricity. But hydropower dams create an obstacle for migratory salmon as they swim upriver to reproduce. To support the production of abundant clean energy without harming wildlife, the Department of Energy has called for new technology to understand and reduce the impacts of hydropower on rivers and fish. DOE's national laboratories are uniquely suited to address these challenges. Take for example scientists from Pacific Northwest National Laboratory in Richland, Washington. Their team is testing a fish transportation system developed by Woosh Innovations. The Woosh system uses a flexible tube that works like a vacuum, guiding fish over hydroelectric dams or other structures. Compared to methods used today, this system could save money while granting fish quicker, safer passage through dams and hatcheries. We're looking at two different lengths of tube, both a 40-foot tube and 250 feet, to look at, to compare different scenarios where you might use this system. And we're comparing this to traditionally used methods to handle and carry fish by holding them in a net and carrying them, or by loading them into a truck and then dumping them into a pond or a raceway. Results from this independent evaluation could help improve this technology so that salmon can swim upriver uninhibited and complete their quest for renewal.